Hello, my name is Professor Krusty Trenches, a bloke who knows things. And today I'm here at Caister Roman Fort in Norfolk. This was a particularly impressive Roman Fort, but not so much then. It's a bit crap. And the reason why it's a bit crap is because of very shoddy Roman building practices. Take a look, for example, behind me. What we have here is a Roman hypercost heating system. But the silly buggers forgot to put the floor on. So how the hell were they going to heat anything? It's really a mystery. But it's also bad workmanship. Now, as a bloke who knows things, I can tell you that this is an authentic Roman drain cover. Probably put down in around about AD 60. It was the time of the Boudican Revolt. And all the revolting Boudicans were probably put down in this drain. Hence the smell. Now it's very obvious to historians like me and academics who know things that the Romans didn't bother to actually finish these buildings off properly. They didn't even build the walls up to the full height, which made it very difficult for us to find it in later years. Even things like the fireplaces and floorings and everything were not even put into these buildings. Doorways were even left as just gaping holes in the wall or all the internal fittings like tables and chairs were completely missing. So the Romans didn't stay here for very long. They moved on to a much better site. One that was actually built a lot better. And we shall be going on to that site next. So join me as we go to Borough Castle. So, once again, you join me, Professor Krusty Trenches, at the rather impressive looking Borough Castle Roman Fort. Now, this was built to quite an impressive scale, as you can probably see, but it's a bit of a bodge job. I mean, look at all those enormous cracks in the wall. I mean, what were they thinking? And I'm pretty certain that some of these towers are not exactly straight. So we're going to go inside and we're going to have a good look around and maybe try and find out why the Romans were such stupid and lousy builders. But the biggest problem with Borough Castle is when you get inside the walls and it's here that you realise that the Romans had made one critical construction error. Because although they had walls on three sides of the fort, as you can see here, they completely forgot about the fourth wall, which is over that way, or at least it should have been. So without this fourth wall, the entire fort was completely open to attack. So getting up close and personal with this Roman fort, we can see that the Romans allowed this huge crack to make its way down through the wall. It's such a dangerous thing. This whole wall could probably collapse down at any moment. I'm not even sure what they were thinking. 
why would you actually build a crack into your wall? Here it seems quite obvious that the Roman builders realised that there was structural problems in their building technique. And they tried to prop them up using twigs. This, of course, was never going to work. Here it appears that, as at Caister, at Borough Castle as well, that the Roman army were nothing more than cowboy tradesmen. They took their denarii at the end of the day, did an absolute bodge job of everything, and then they would bugger off, hoping that no one would notice that they had actually failed to complete the job properly. And so, as you can see, from this fort, it is a bit of a calamity. Why did the Romans allow this fort to be built in such a state? Well, we can only speculate and come up with some rather goofy and stupid ideas as to why they did this. But being a, a bloke who knows things, I would probably go with the theory that the Romans were just absolutely crap at building. We have seen previous examples. For example, when we did our trip along the Foss Way, we saw that they couldn't even build a proper floor for a villa. And there have been other examples along the way as well. But here at Borough Castle, it is quite evident, evident to me that these Romans are not all that they're cracked up to be. Often the question has been asked, what have the Romans ever done for us? Well, for one thing, they made sure that quality building controls were brought in. And then nothing like this would ever happen again. Now, my esteemed colleague, Professor Christopher Rimshard Wheat, another bloke who knows things, had a theory that the Romans purposely left all of their buildings in a derelict state to make attackers think that they weren't occupied. But when they actually tried to attack it, of course, the Romans were hiding inside and they actually attacked back. Now, my colleague, Professor Wheat, was going to try and prove this theory by carrying out a series of excavations at one of the other Roman sites that he's been involved with. But unfortunately, during the course of the excavations, he got completely and utterly bladdered one night, and he fell into a test pit and got his ass stuck in it. The entire inve investigation was actually closed down and he never got away around to actually confirming the theory that he was trying to prove. Now, one theory that myself and some of my other academic chums who know things um, have come up with is, is one of these cracks here might actually be the remains of just a join between two walls. And that could indicate that the entire fort was prefabricated like sort of a Ikea coffee table. And that they literally brought sections of fort wall to the site and then screwed them together. Well, of course, over time, the screws have disappeared. And that means now all we have are the joins where the walls weren't uh, actually attached together at once. But if you ask me, this is a very, very shoddy way of building something. If you want to build something to last, you don't go to Ikea. And here we have yet more evidence of how the Romans were such lousy builders. Because here, an entire section of their Ikea wall has actually collapsed. It's been left in bits and pieces on the floor down here. And if that wasn't bad enough, they couldn't even build their tower straight. And here we can see the original remains of a Roman shittateum. This was actually a Roman toilet. And it was designed for the centurions on guard duty to literally pee outside the walls. This was done, of course, under cover, because in the winter, they could probably get their tackle frozen. 
and hear the totally useless Roman engineering of the day, has now left this in such a perilous state that it could fall over at any time. Fortunately, back in its day, the Roman engineers put up these metal fences to stop people like me having an accident if the wall was going to fall over. And so from me, Professor Krusty Trenches, a bloke who knows things, I have to bid you farewell from Borough Castle. But we will meet again at another site, another location, where once again I will tell you things that I know and other people don't. And hopefully it won't be too soon. You've all probably had quite a bit enough of me already. But anyway, another time, another place we shall meet. And hopefully more history will be found by Professor Krusty Trenches. So stay tuned. Thank you. And goodbye. <laughs>